Will Rebna be waiting for us here in the center of the storm? <laughs> Why, hello, Adam Patrick Murray. Hello. That's quite an intro. Yeah, you know, I'm a voice actor in my off hours. Uh, we are here today Not. to play Heaven's Vault. Wow, uh, okay. Which is... Is this the, the new Assassin's Creed, Heaven's Vault? Uh, no, this is the new game from the Inkle team. What did you call me? Is, uh, the people that made 80 Days and also Sorcery. I don't know if you played either of those. I know Adam. Sorcery, I do not know 80 Days. Yeah, so 80 Days. Uh, Wait, is that the guy from, uh, what is that, 90s movie? Uh, I, which one? With the, the Johnny robot? Five? Johnny Five, yeah. Is that Johnny Five? It is not Johnny Five. It. His name is Six, though, so maybe it's an homage. Um, so yeah, this is the new game from the 80 Days and sorcery team inkle uh they are known for branching storyline stuff okay um i'm going to go ahead actually i was uh as adam knows burning through this earlier uh -huh. because we were um there are no cloud saves oh on this. great uh but i turned the tech speed up to maximum <laughs> to burn through it so i'm going to turn that back down and boom and now we are in it uh, so yeah, this is a uh, adventure game. Um, the way they pitched it is it's a space archaeology game. Huh. And so we are about 40 minutes into the game as the burning through the game <laughs> path goes. Okay. Uh, we have come across a moon that's uh, not charted, um, and we are trying to figure out where our colleague has gone. And a couple of the clues we picked up indicates that he came here. Um, to this moon and uh, this oh wow there's a house on the moon oh uh, I should mention okay. I'm like I'm much further into this game than okay. where we are right now um, spoilers in the middle but yeah you find this uh, this house here and uh, the majority of the game is just um, walking around and translating things and so that's that's the hook here is that they have created a like a symbol based language um, that you spend a lot of your time translating as like a, uh, as an archaeologist, basically. <laughs> okay, so you go to a place, you translate, and then you move on? Is that uh, pretty much, but I mean, there's story stuff happening. Okay. Um, like we are trying to track down, uh, basically this old empire, so we can actually, there's like a timeline in here, uh, and we can what? scroll out and scroll out and scroll out, and this timeline goes, uh, oh man, I have not been playing on mouse and keyboard at home, so this is a, uh, oh, I think this... Nope, that is not what I wanted. Anyways, there's like this spans like thousands of years, uh, and so we are trying to figure out what happened to this old empire. Uh, there are remnants of it Wait, hidden. Oh, here. so you're you're now? Yeah, so we're now. But this you're is 600 to... years ago. Uh, the fall was 350 years ago. Why? Well, why is that yellow and some of them are red? Does that mean you figured something out over here? Uh, I think it was just when I mouse over Oh, them. Yeah. oh okay. Uh, we also have the inscriptions page, which is uh, what I was talking about. We are what? translating stuff here. Um, what? And so we can pop this open. Uh, so this, we found a, um, I think, scrap of a flag. Yeah, stained scrap of a flag okay. with some words on it. And we are trying to figure out what those words mean. I've already plugged in a uh, translation for this one. So we'll just go ahead and leave it. Uh, but then we will stumble upon some other ones here in a bit. So, anyways, uh, I'm yeah okay. I'm confused. Uh, why why is there only some voice acting? Uh, it's just mostly. It just, I think it's too much writing for them to voice act. Oh, this it, is like a it. small indie team. Got so, it, it. um, yeah, and that's that's the thing is they uh are known for like branching stories. So there's uh, a lot of stuff that you will do that will lead to so the, the way that i when i talked to the inkle team a couple of years ago uh their philosophy is like instead of telltale style which is um you know telltale is like a lot of or a, a handful of very big choices right yeah yeah um which sometimes matter sometimes don't yeah and most of the time don't uh this one is a lot of small choices that you're making that then kind of add up to big choices over time. Okay. Um, and so there's a lot of divergence. Um, so yeah, we have walked into this bedroom. Oh, there's some symbols on the wall. Uh, and what it's telling us is like, these are words that are related to the symbols here. So if I can take a stab at it here, the, the little curly thing, uh -huh. the, I see these other curly things yeah. that start. This, this at like the other banana one. looking yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I don't know. 
Yeah, so Wait, I've, I've been sort of, I can't, I? I don't remember what these are, but uh, you kind of, it's more of like a implied relationship a lot of the time. So like in oh, this it's case. it's not like an actual like, No, so like in this letter. case, like we're looking at like, there's elements of buried goddess and light here. And obviously buried seems to be the one that is like the most, uh-huh. um, but we don't really know what to put in. So we'll just put in some stuff. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you kind of have to just make an educated guess. Uh, and so, oh, so it's a little more abstract than I'm thinking. I'm thinking, yeah, it's more of like a, like, let's say I write, uh, I, I don't write know, death. beloved. Sure. It's yeah. So it'll, yeah, maybe it'll it's, tell maybe you it's, it's it I fear no? death. Like f- I fear death is a sentence that somebody would write on a wall when they're sick. Right. Or yeah, sure. So we could it. like put that in. Will it tell you if you go to uh, And uh, so eventually, so see at the bottom now uh-huh. we have things that are related to the, what we just translated it as. So okay. we'll just say, oh, the writer was dying. Uh, and then she'll draw some some inferences about what we translated. But if, if we translated that as something else, she would have also come up with a reason why it might be that. Wait, so we could just do it completely wrong and just keep going on? Yeah, so uh, it'll eventually um, it'll tell you certain words if they keep coming up over and over. So like I have a, a couple of words um, like goddess, for instance, yeah. uh, already in this you know, 40 minutes or whatever that I played. Uh-huh. Uh, I've encountered the word goddess like six or seven times. And so that is locked in and she'll eventually uh, say like, okay. Hey, this is clearly what this means. Huh? Um, but in the, for the most part, yeah, you just kind of are guessing there are words that I've translated that have never come up again. And huh. you just kind of hope like, yeah, I hope that's right. <laughs> um, and what's the, I mean, what's the end state? Is it judging you based off how good you did or are you just trying to get through? Oh no, there's the a, story? you're trying to get through the story. Oh, okay. Uh, the, that stuff is mostly like flavor. Uh, and then it'll also, um, tell you about the world and tell you about space. So we have like a, a map of the nebula that we're in and it'll occasionally tell us where a, here, I can open that up. It'll tell us where, um, certain locations are. So over here, for instance, we have this unknown moon. Uh, which we know that the, somebody traveled to at one point, but we don't know where in this system it is right now. Oh, okay. And as we find more relics, it sort of narrows down. Uh, so that's how we ended up at this, actually. Mm-hmm. We had found three relics that had indicated there was something in this part of space that used to be blank, which is why there's these like very light-colored hmm. uh, map nodes here. Hmm. Um, and so, yeah, we can come over. There's a a chest here. This um, looks but interesting. It's locked. Beautifully made. Um, and he will. Uh, I estimate it to be hollow, mistress. He tries to open it up. He can't. Um, and so in my game, I sent him back to the spaceship to get a crowbar. <laughs> uh, and he's like not. It, there's a lot of uh, questionable allegiances going on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, this guy's not like a friend of mine or anything. Oh. He was. Uh, like assigned to me by the people that sent me out here. And so when I sent him back to the ship in my game, he like reports in and he's like, Hey, we found this, this place. Uh, but then I realized after I'd played there or after I'd done that, that there's this poker here that I'm pretty sure you could also use to open up the, the chest. Oh. And so then that doesn't like, he doesn't have the chance to go back and report. to go back and report. Um, so it's stuff like that, that, uh, seems pretty small, um, but has like a, oh, maybe we can actually open it with this. Oh, oh okay. there we go. Cool. All right. Uh, so yeah, it's stuff like that. That seems like a really small choice, right? Like, uh-huh. Hey, I sent this guy back to get this poker. Uh, and it like completely changes the way that the story or like the the information that other characters have about you hmm. um it seems like a lot of branching paths oh and... it, it's like overwhelming like i don't i don't know if you ever i know you know sorcery but i don't know if you ever played sorcery but nope. man the amount of stuff that changes based on like even the simplest things like just one interaction wow um can be really overwhelming and in this case it's sort of even more so because you can't roll back um as far as i can tell in sorcery and in uh 80 days if i remember correctly you can just like retcon uh a choice and be like ah actually i didn't mean to do that uh this one i think i have just you just have to live with it um which has been really 
uh, I had one moment that I, I don't want to spoil, but basically I went to a moon, something happened, uh, and it like locked me out of an entire area on that moon, oh. and then I just had to leave, and I was like heartbroken. <laughs> I was oh, like, oh man. no. Uh, and it, in retrospect, the game warned me that that was about to happen, but I was just like, ah, whatever, I'm just exploring. Uh, and, oh, it really hurt. Um, so, yeah, in this one, you can see we have, like, a huge... That was a long sentence. Yep, we have a lot, and we have, like, we don't know any of it. Um, Does it always need to make sense? Like, uh, is it always, like, a sentence that you... Yeah, from what I can tell, it usually translates to, like, they give you enough clues that it ends up translating to something that makes sense. Um, but like, even so there's a lot of different things that this could be. Um, so you can also just like, uh, not that way, but, uh, somehow you can just leave it. Uh, maybe we, I don't know. Again, I've been playing on a controller at home, oh. which I think the controller is probably the better way to play it. The mouse and keyboard controls from what I've seen are a little finicky. Oh, interesting. Uh, but we could like just wood translate this as eagles wood eagles of, of light. light. Uh, my up again, like just nonsense. <laughs> uh, and she'll say it out loud. <laughs> what equals of light? My up again. Uh, she's just like, well, yeah, that sounds uh, right. Yeah, she, uh, yep, mm -hmm. yep, I like it. Um, but yeah, I've spent like so much time. You can see there's inscriptions. The reason I wanted to get to this place is because we're, this is like the first big archaeological dig in this uh game. Oh, okay, and you can see that there's just like inscriptions everywhere. Like, there's one up there. Uh, I think if we go in here, there's like a, a map um, that leads you to another location. Um, so yeah, we can get into this weird storeroom. Yeah, and there's a, oh yeah, it's a painting. Oh. So we find a painting and then she sort of, uh, it ends up being the map of the nebula uh, and it indicates uh -huh. another moon. So we'll get a, um, like another location marked on there. Uh, and I think it might actually be the, oh. yeah, it might be the one that I was already, oh no, it's a different one. So yeah, now you can see we have this site, hmm. also this unknown one. Um, so yeah, it is a, a long and complicated game. How, how um, long do you, how long are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I know I'm, it, I'm already like, I'm four or five hours in and I feel like I've got a ways to go. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm I've been super impressed by it. There's stuff around the edges that I think is rough. Um anything that's not the transcription or translation stuff, I feel like is Oh yeah, see, so we got one word, right? Oh. But um, because you found because the we found another on the wall. one that had yeah, we had another another uh thing here that included that word, so she was able to figure it out. Um so we can we found a map, so find me Home. Near, near seems like a decent translation. Find me near. Uh, and we can. This is definitely it's a map. drawn by somebody who died here. Um, so yeah, there's there's a lot to puzzle over, and I'm finding the translation stuff really interesting. The hmm. stuff outside of that, I find less so. There's like a weird. Um, you like fly your ship through the nebula. Like uh, like you have direct input? Yeah, you have direct input, oh, and weird. that part, I think, is less good. Yeah, uh, that they, seems a little out of place. Yeah, they've improved it since even like when we started the review period, but uh -huh. it's still a little bit awkward at times. Interesting. Um, it's like clearly not their forte, the like action part of this. Yeah. Um, and you're just kind of like flying. Like there's no, there's no combat or anything like that. You're just flying around. Um, but it does because there are so many paths. Um, like, the reason they do it is because they, like, have hidden stuff off of some of these paths, so you'll be flying through. Oh, you could through. find something. Yeah, you'll be flying through and just find, like, a shipwreck or oh, something okay. with optional translations to do. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. And so there's a reason for it. It's just, you know, it's okay. Huh. But, uh, and yeah, we can stop right here. We've got this grave marker. Uh, so, yeah, she had said somebody probably died here, and then we find a grave. Um, one of the interesting things that comes from this grave is that um, everybody in the current time in this world believes in something called the loop, which is like a reincarnation thing. Interesting. Um, but that involves being cremated. And in this case, this person was buried, which indicates that they are like a villain and uh, should not resurrect. Oh. Um, and so she has some stuff to say about that. But. Huh. Uh, yeah, that's Heaven's Vault for the most part. It's a, uh, I would say, hard game to demo um, because yeah. it's a very slow-paced, uh, very 
like pour a glass of something and <laughs> sit there all night and translate things. Uh, very hard to translate things on the fly on a stream like this, but uh, yeah, it's, I think it's a, a pretty cool game. Interesting. Uh, I know you're going to ask how much it is. You know, it's it's probably somewhere between five dollars and and fifty dollars. Yeah, that seems like a well, uh, five dollars and thirty dollars. Well, yeah. How, how much you're was narrowing their, their down other ones? The, uh, I am not sure. Uh, I feel like they were ten-ish, maybe. Uh, and I can't even tell you the price because it's not on Steam yet. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna guess like Death. twenty or thirty. That seems correct. Worth, but, worth yours. Yeah, sure. That seems like a uh, a real <laughs> That's terrible a, translation. I, I, yeah. So I think Adam, maybe great. not your sort of game, but uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I I like a good story based game, but yeah, I, I, I'm not good at I'm not a scholar. You're not a linguist. I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a scholar. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's Heaven's Vault. Cool, uh, it's pretty. I yeah, like it. Yeah, we will have a full review uh, by the time you see this on uh, PCWorld.com. But yeah, it's a a very cool game. I uh, am very impressed by it. Uh, I don't think it's as accessible as like 80 Days, which is a very like play on the bus sort of game. But mm. uh, yeah, I'm really digging it. So cool. Uh, anyways, thanks Adam for checking this out with me. Thank you, and, Hayden. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.